Blackmore here with another Xcode tutorial. In this Xcode tutorial I'll be teaching you how to set the background view and the selected background view of a UI table view cell. Now all the graphics used in these tutorials are made by Jan Martin so go check out his channel there. Um, he, you know, he teaches you how to make all the graphics used in these tutorials, so if you want to know how to make them, go check him out there. Also, um, if you haven't seen the other tutorial series for this, I recommend you go watch at least the first video just there, because you won't kind of understand what I'm talking about when I talk about the sizes of these, unless you already know about the sizes and stuff of, uh, of Retina and normal graphics for the iPhone screen. Um, so again, go check out Jan Martin because he made all the graphics. I didn't make them at all. And go check out the tutorial if you start getting confused about what I'm talking about. Uh, however, if you already know already that, then we can crack on with the tutorial. <clears throat> so again, we're going to be setting the background view or background image of a UI table view cell. So first off, we're going to need our UI table view cell background image made already. So here's my first one, this is the normal graphic, and it's going to be 44 pixels high and 320 long. Now 320 long because that's the, you know, the width of the iPhone screen itself, and 44 high. Now it must be 44 high, it can't be any bigger or any smaller than 44, otherwise your image will look a bit weird, as you'll find out later in this tutorial as I'll be showing you an example of that when you get onto the grouped table views. So that's the size of the image you'll need and obviously for the retina one you'll need one double the size and make sure you have at 2x at the end of it. This is going to be 640 pixels long by 88 pixels high. And again it doesn't matter what you name these ones because we'll be calling them from within our app. So you can call this uh, butterflies and you can still use it as your thing, as long as your Retina one has at 2x on the end of it. So there you go, that's 44 pixels by 320 and 88 pixels by 640. So I'm just going to drag these into my project here, into my UI table view project. Finish. And here we go. Now, I'm in my root view controller.m at the moment. And what we're going to need to do is call a delegate method for the UI table view and this delegate method will be called when the UI table view is about to draw the cell. So when the UI table view is about to you know make the cell and set its properties and everything it will call this method and say is there anything extra you want me to add? Do you want me to add something extra? And we're going to call it, we're going to use it and we're going to say yes I want you to add this image as an extra. Um, and if you're unsure with what delegate methods are I reckon you go check out my uh, UI, de uh, UI delegates, uh, just delegate method tutorial because it kind of explains what they are. So we're going to go in here, it doesn't really matter where you put it as long as it's in a UI table view um, class and we're just going to put it somewhere down here. Now this is a void, so void and then table view and it should kind of auto complete for you. If it doesn't then copy it out from here and it's the will display cell method. Now make sure it's will display cell because that means it hasn't displayed it yet so we can set it before otherwise it won't work. So as I said this will get called when they when the makes the UI table view cell. So we're going to say I want you to set its background colour. Now you should all know this. We're going to call the cell that is named in the method here as, as a parameter. So we're going to go cell dot background colour space space UI colour color uh, color with pattern image UI image not image view image named and then it's going to be the name of your image like so now it doesn't matter uh, about the retina image you don't need to put at 2x on here because Xcode will automatically work that out and set it for us and you should all kind of be experts on this now if you've been following my tutorial but basically it sets a color and the color has an image embedded in it and this image is going to be our image that we created. So let's build and run here and we should see our new image on our main table view. So we're going to build and run and here you go. You can see we now have our UI table view image set on only the cells that are populated. So our background still shows through. 
And if we click here, you can see it goes to the next one. Now, I'll be telling you how to set these in a minute. So we'll go back. But one thing you'll see is the highlighted image is still blue. Now, there are two options we can do for it. For this, we can create a highlighted button image to put here when it goes blue. So we can have a, a custom one. Or we can tell Xcode to keep it blue, tell Xcode to turn it to grey, or tell Xcode to have it as none. So to tell Xcode to have it as those three cust uh, three default presets that it has, you go cell dot selected style or selection style, sorry, space equal space, UI table view, cell, selection style, and then you can choose between these three methods here. So there's blue, which is the one we just saw. Grey, which is obviously just going to be grey, which could fit with our theme. But again, if you don't have a grey theme, then there's not much point in having that. And none is obviously going to have nothing. Now, this isn't what we want. So we're going to have to set a custom one. Now, to set a custom one, we can go selected background view. Now, because this is a UI view, we're going to have to pass into a UI image view. Uh, um, yeah, we're going to have to pass a UI image view into this. Um, because obviously UI image view is a view so it will comply and it will work so UI image view alloc init with image and then UI image not image view image named and then it's going to be our image again as I don't have a highlighted image I'm just going to use the same one so we can build and run again now and you will see that we now have a selected background uh, view when we click on it. So as you can see, the image stays the same, but the text changes to white, which I think is quite a nice effect. Obviously, you don't have to have this. You can set it to grey, blue, or none, or you can set it to your own custom image if you want. So as you can see, the text changes, and that's that. Uh, now to work on these grouped table view cells. So I'll apply this same method into my other view controller, uh, and I'll show you the results. So see you in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back, and I have now set the background image of these group table view cells. Now you'll notice something weird about them. They've got some weird, the corners are a bit weird, the bottom here on dog one is a bit weird. Um, and this is because these cells have a curved edge. Unlike the other cells here that have a flat edge, these cells have a curved edge. And they appear slightly smaller on the bottom. As you can see, we the dog two, that one looks okay. Because, you know, the bottom isn't ending. It's connecting to another cell. That's why it looks okay. But as soon as it ends, so it doesn't connect to another cell, you can see the bottom here goes a bit weird. Now, you will have to compensate for this in your designs by making them a bit slightly smaller by about two or three pixels, or maybe making them transparent around the corners to make it curved. So that's my kind of fix for that one there. So as you can see, it happens again in this one here. But as you can see, the highlighted image looks okay because the highlighted image is actually a, a flat cell, as you can see, it's flat, with no curved corners. As soon as we go back to the curved corners, you can see we have a problem. So you'll need to compensate for that in your designs. So we can go back here, and there you go. Now the last thing to do is to set the navigation bar, so that will be our next tutorial, teaching how to set the background image of a navigation bar. So you can find that there. Again, all the tutorials in these, uh, all the graphics in these tutorials are made by Jan Martin. Go check it, check it there. <laughs> Go check out him um, because you know he teaches you how to make all these graphics, and I wouldn't be giving you this tutorial without them. So go check him out. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, where I'll be posting all the latest video updates and what's going on. Uh, and again, don't forget to click on some of the adverts in my videos because those also help. And most important of all, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. I'm always here to help. So again, thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial.